<laughs> hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Josh Hi. and Alex. Hey guys. And we made a toolbox fly. Why? Yes. Because, because we, we can. can. <laughs> got the GPS slash compass, the APM 2.6, and this is the 3DR radio, which gives you the ability to communicate it from an Android device or your laptop. Oh. <laughs> it flies so easy. That's strange. This is the first, I guess, technical maiden of it, so. Oh, you're FPV, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm flying FPV. Is that okay? Yeah, watch out for those puddles. Don't crash. Ooh, that's there. a big puddle there. Yeah, we're here at Barber Airport. This is my old stomping ground. This is where I grew up. There's a big puddle. And also where I soloed. Yeah, I'm flying over all the puddles. You still have Josh your went to school. school here. Yeah, it's where I went to school. How's your signal over here? It's pretty good. How's yours? Good. I'm just, it's kind of like a mud pit. Yeah, this we is where are... Josh got married. <laughs> and it's where he was born, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is flying really good. I'm by the, the wood pile. Where are you? Are you? Oh, I'm, I'm shooting down towards the lake. Oh, you're crazy. I'm going down the runway. Okay, let's let's do it back in memory here. Right about here is where I touched down when I first sold my dad's tailor craft. Right Oops. at this cone right here. I think it's a bucket now. <laughs> yeah, the, the runway cone here. Let's see, uh -huh. it looks like a five gallon bucket. Yeah, the first first one? That's a five gallon bucket now. Now the neat thing about 3D uh, robotics uh, APM 2.6 here is it's cheaper than DJI Naza, has more functionality, has a where you can actually go and say, hey, fly here and they'll autonomously fly here. Uh, you also have other great features that they just add, like drift mode. Oh, I see you. Do you see me? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and push down the runway. What do you say? Now, this system heavily relies on either an Android that device was... <laughs> or a, uh, a laptop to uh, to communicate with it. And they give you, the, they call it the 3DR radio, and you can purchase that. And what it enables you to do is you can actually see your telemetry, what's actually going on with your multi-rotor real time, and you can change missions in midair. There's so many features on this thing, it's hard to describe all of them. But the nice thing about it is, is because of the money we saved on this frame, hey, there you are. I'm gonna chase after you. You're a lot faster than I am. <laughs> well, you're carrying a toolbox. I'm backwards. Are you backwards? Yeah. So I'm looking at you looking at me? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Hey, Alex. It flies really good. I can't believe we're flying a toolbox right now. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, and you would never would have known that you'd say that about a toolbox. Because of the money we saved on the airframe, we're able to go ahead and go a little bit more extreme on the, uh, on the actual electronics. And that's one thing that a lot of people get hung up on is where do they spend their budget? What will give them the most bang for the buck? And uh, for me, you know, I'm internally cheap. I like to, to save money. And uh, I'd rather put my- Frugal. Frugal. Nah, I'm cheap. That's the word. I'd rather put my money towards the uh, brain and not the frame. Uh, the brain's gonna give you the benefit as, as you grow with the- um, Is that trademark or? No, but I did make Why it up that? yesterday laying in bed. So, <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> oh, look at this. Are you still behind me? I'm right in front of you. Do you see that little cove right there? Yeah, I, I see all the a, mud that's right below. I, I, I bet you that's a big spot. Oh, yeah, I'm going down. No, 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 no. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, wow. I really took us over the muddiest spot. Yes, you did. wonder if we can make this thing float. Nice thing though is, is if you have a specific purpose with your multi rotor and you don't want to, uh, to go out there and, and find someone that's created that. Uh, you can go ahead and create it yourself. There's just a couple of simple rules you need to uh, to listen to. Josh, what do you think those are? Uh, surface area. Surface area? Is yep. that Dave? It's so weird when you're looking at me like this. <laughs> Let's go see Dave. Turn around, Josh. All right. Let's go Sorry. say hi to Dave. Uh, was, I, was I freakishly close? Like closer than a man should be? No. Okay. Well, always, yeah. Yeah. Uh, rigidity. Rigidity is good, yeah. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't have a lot of vibrations. So you actually yeah. have some weather stripping inside there, don't you? Yeah. Down yeah. This whole frame cost me 10 bucks. I'm yeah. Dave. Uh, I'm actually full throttle. I think I need to put a new battery in. Oh. Uh, but we were actually talking about some key things. Surface area yeah, is so one surface thing. area is important. Uh, rigidity. Yep. Uh, you want to make sure you cut down the vibrations. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure it has a handle on top so you can transport it easily. Very important. Yeah, you want to make sure it's durable and it's set for your purpose. Um, if you have something you don't want to be in the elements, an enclosure like you know a toolbox or, or something like that may be good for you or build it out of you know plywood and stuff yourself so when it comes to brain or frame you're saying that it's better to go big with the brain yes 
uh, because you can make a frame out of yeah. stuff that you have lying around. Get something you can grow into. And also with this APM here, um, by buying that, we can actually put that in a multi-rotor, we can put it in an airplane, you can put it in a car, you can put it in a boat. And you, you can, can make it serve your purpose. You can make it serve your is. purpose and you can grow into it. Um, this even has features that can control gimbals um, that are well beyond maybe someone just getting into the hobby. Uh, but by go ahead and go in this direction, you're going to have that extra ability to have that flexibility. Nice. Also, make sure that your tools are very lightweight. You yeah. want like carbon fiber tools we don't to carry, carry tools to carry in your toolbox copter. Why are you still flying? I can't stop. He's having fun. <laughs> it's an addiction, people. Long story short, depending on whatever your application is and everything, you always have options out there. And don't feel like you have to be pigeonholed into a specific frame out there. You can mm -hmm. create your own. Just keep in mind you want rigidity, you want lightweight, you want you know strength where you need it, but you also want functionality. And everyone has a different purpose for multi-rotors. You can find out your purpose, design around it, don't be intimidated. And take that extra cash, put it towards some exceptional radios. Or towards your kids' education, whatever. Yeah. Put it towards your electronics. Electronics. Yeah, that's true. Let's go that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks Audible.com for sponsoring this episode. If you go to audible.com slash flight test, you can get a free download there of an audio book, and they have over 150,000 different Over 150,000, yes. Uh, one that's on there is Dad is Fat. What? Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. That, Jim sounds, Gaffigan. that sounds horrible. He's, He's actually really funny, if, He's especially if you're married or if you have kids. He really like gets into a lot of topics like that. But yeah, go to audible.com slash flight test to get your free download. Get your free download. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, next guys. Time. Thank see you. Ya.